Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another Mass Effect 3 Rebellion DLC gameplay commentary. Today I'm going to be using the Collector Sniper Rifle, which is one of the new weapons, which is pretty awesome and pretty stupid. The reason why I'm coming out with this now is because in my next gameplay, which I promise would be the Turian Ghost Infiltrator, I actually at one point, I will talk about how I do not like this weapon, and how I think it's really bad and really stupid. And I'm going to be very honest with you guys, I do this a lot. <clears throat> I, as you may know, I, I, I constantly will say something I don't like it or I hate it, blah, 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 blah. But the truth of the matter is I don't actually play with it. Um, and then once I play with it, then I realize, hey, this is actually pretty good. For example, like the Alkalite Pistol. Now, before you say, well, what about the Volus Engineer? I mean, the Volus Adept. Yeah, no, I played with that and I do not like that, so don't start. I don't want to hear no more about that guy. I am never going to do that gameplay. Uh, and please stop leaving comments, giving me builds, and telling me how to play with them, because I won't do that gameplay. But, in my Turian Ghost video, like I said, I will talk about at one point how I do not like this weapon. Just ignore that. I am totally wrong. The reason why I felt the way I did was because I tend to talk to a lot of people. I talk to, I play with a lot of different people uh, constantly, and I, I always, you know, they'll, they'll tell me, what do you think of this weapon? And I'll say, I don't really know, I haven't played with it yet. And then they'll tell me what they think. And so many people told me that they thought that the Collector Sniper Rifle was really, really bad. They didn't like it. And it's true. Like, it's not that, but it's not bad. It's really not. It's actually really amazing. I hope you can see. This thing is incredible. But, I know why people do not like it. It's because it's a beam weapon. It shoots a beam. And it's just like the Particle Rifle in that way. But it has extremely low ammo. It's only 45 bullets. And the 45 bullets in it is, yeah, it just, you, you can easily run out of ammo. And when you do, oh man, it's, and you're about to see me run out of ammo uh, in a second. Here we go. It takes so freaking long to recharge the gun. That's the reason why people don't like it. And that's the reason why so many people told me that it was bad. It's because they don't like that. And I get that. But the truth of the matter is that, yeah, that is really, that sucks when that happens. That, that really sucks when that happens. But, here's the way it goes, guys. You have, if you're going to use this weapon, and if you're going to use this weapon effectively, you have to constantly pay attention to your ammo, and you got to know how to use it. You don't want to burst fire. You want to just shoot at enemies. And, guys, play it on an infiltrator. I tried this on the destroyer thinking that, hey, more ammo would be better. No, infiltrator all the way. The reason why is because on this infiltrator... It's actually pretty easy to manage this gun. As you can tell, I'm managing it pretty well. I'm able to constantly put fire on the enemies. But this, the truth of the matter is that you do not want that to happen. You do not want to run out of ammo. The way that you ensure yourself of not running out of ammo is simply by just, well, using your infiltrator stuff. Every time you can cloak, make sure you cloak. Every time you can use a power, you know, cloak and use proxy mine. And in that time that it takes you, what, three four seconds to cloak, aim your proxy mine, shoot your proxy mine, or your energy drain, or whatever infiltrator you're playing with. And I do highly recommend the Solarian. I really like him for sniping in general. And I really like the having energy drain for stunning and proxy mine for debuffing. Because it's really versatile for like all factions. I mean, obviously Reapers have armor, energy drain's not that great, but proxy mine's good. And then anything with shields like Cerberus, Collectors, whatever, you can easily just go ahead and use energy drain and get tech burst and all that kind of good stuff. So I, I do recommend the Solarian um, over, like, for example, the Geth Infiltrator. I like the Geth Infiltrator, but I don't like him for sniping. I really don't. I never have. I, I always find it a lot harder to aim and kill enemies with a sniper with him. Anyway, though, like I was saying, but that's really the secret to this gun. It's using it on an Infiltrator and always paying attention. I mean, just look at that. That is crazy this is like almost a montage clip i just go so ham right here just killing all these enemies so quickly because this gun if you don't know has so oh man it's the dps on it is insanity it's one of the highest in the game now it's actually this thing does 1300 damage per second that's higher than the service harrier so it's actually better than the service harrier now to be honest the particle rifle also has an insane dps but this gun is better than the particle rifle when it comes down to damage. Only because 
the difference between this beam weapon compared to like the particle rifle is that you don't have to get it to full speed. The particle rifle requires that second phase of shooting to get the maximum damage. That insane... Because at first, the particle rifle in, in, in its first form will only do about Avenger 10 DPS. Once you get it up to the next form, it does like Cerberus Harrier. This thing does more than Cerberus Harrier all the time. Every single time you shoot this thing, you will do the maximum DPS with it. And like I said, the number one, the only downside to this gun, the only thing about this gun that is not good is the fact that it's so easy to run on the ammo and you can definitely be screwed because it takes seven seconds to like reload the gun or start getting it back to charging up again. That's the biggest downside to it. But overall, this gun is really amazing. It's stupid only because, the reason why I'm saying it's stupid is only because I can't, it's really hard to explain, but let's just say this. When I was playing with this gun, this was the other night, I was playing with this group of guys. Like This is like the same group as I, I started playing the gun. I played like three games with it, and, or maybe four games. I played a couple games with it prior to this gameplay. But when I was playing with these guys, I told them, like, all right, I'm going to try this collector sniper rifle. I'm like, all right. So I try on the destroyer, and I'm just like, man, this gun fucking sucks. This gun is so garbage. I was like, it does damage, but... It's just so hard to not have to reload. I was hating it. I thought it was so stupid. And then I tried on the Solarian Infiltrator. Then I realized, whoa, this thing's really fucking good. But, once again, every time I run out of ammo... See, this, that's what happens. It's awesome because... It's amazing, actually, because of the damage. It's so amazing. I mean, just look at that Ravager to get wrecked. It's so quick. It dies faster than, like, almost anything. This gun can kill a Ravager so quick. But, but, like I said, it's it's amazing because of, of the damage, but it's stupid because of the reload thing. And this is what I was, I said this about literally 30 times. Every time I would just run around, I'm doing this, I'm like, oh my god, this gun is amazing. This gun is crazy good. But then I would run out of ammo and have to reload it, and I'm like, man, this gun sucks. This gun is so stupid. I, I literally would say that. Um... Because that's how I truly felt. Like, I, every time you have to reload the gun, you feel like, man, this is the dumbest gun ever. This gun sucks. I mean, you really feel that way. So, there's your difference. That's the reason why I'm saying this gun is amazing and stupid. is because it makes you feel that way. And when you're using it, it's amazing. But when you have to reload it, it's fucking stupid. So, there there you go. Like That's pretty much the reason for, like, <laughs> why I say that. But anyway, guys, like I said, the main reason for me coming out with this video now, though, it's just because in the turn in goes, I don't want you guys to troll me. And I know all the times that I've, I've done it so many times with Mass Effect where I'll, I'll say, oh, I don't like this. And then I come out with a video. And I'm like, oh, I love it. It's so great. Um, and like I said, the reason for that, though, is mainly because I tend to, I, I, I trust people. I listen to them. And, and I normally, I do that. I always do that. And when enough people tell me that something is bad, and they've tried it, I assume, like with the Alkalite Pistol, I assume that it was a really bad gun just because everybody was telling me it's like the most worthless gun. And everyone even on YouTube was saying the gun was garbage. And a lot of people on YouTube and in general are saying that this collector sniper rifle is bad. But the truth of the matter is that no, it's not. And I hope you can see it from this gameplay that this thing is amazing. Freaking amazing. But... Like I said, it's just you got to be careful with it. You got to know how to play it right. And the main secret to this guy, or the main secret to this gun, is just the fact that what you're going to have to do with this is constantly, like I said, you're going to have to cloak and you're going to have to time it. Use your powers to help you with the recharge of the ammo. It's that simple. And the infiltrator is honestly, I think, personally, probably the best thing in the game for managing it. Just because, like, you have to cloak and aim your power or whatever it's going to be. And that really helps you, like, overall now i think this thing because it's a sniper rifle i do think that the collector sniper rifle loses damage i'm not sure about that but it, to me it feels that way it loses damage when you actually don't aim it in so you do want to constantly aim this thing in and i mean it's not even really like a sniper though like that's the craziest part about it it's so easy to use so i mean any of you guys out there who don't like snipers give this a try believe me it's actually pretty decent now 
One thing I highly recommend for this gun, though, is just like with the particle rifle, it's the same thing. You want to always, and I repeat this, always use incendiary ammo with a gun like this. Just because it has such a high, high fire rate. you got to realize, this thing has an amazing fire rate because it's a beam weapon. Just like the Rieger Carbine, just like the particle rifle. That when you use something with such an amazing fire rate, well, like, the DPS for, like, incendiary ammo is super, super OP. It's just so, so amazing. And I'm using incendiary ammo 3 in this gameplay. And for my other equipment, before you ask, because I didn't show the build, this is my Solarian Sniper, guys. I have plenty of videos about this. I think I have, like, two or three videos about this build. It has never changed. I will maybe give you a link. I don't really know. I don't really feel like doing that, but... I probably in the description will give you a link to the Solarian Sniper build video. And yeah, it's the same freaking thing. So, But the equipment I'm using is Sniper Rifle Wear Lamp 3. I believe the Operative Package, which is the one that gives you tech damage and Sniper Rifle. Obviously, it's really good for the Solarian because he has tech damage from Energy Drain. And you can use a Sniper on him. And I believe I'm using Cyclonic 3 and yeah, Incinerary 3. I think I already said that, but whatever. But yeah, you, you get the idea. It's it's pretty like I said, it's a lot of fun though. If you can if you can get good with this gun, this gun is just so good. And you gotta try. Like I said, even if you're not a sniper, you don't like sniper rifles, this gun is so easy to use. It's just point and click and you just mow things down. It kills almost every enemy this quick. I played it against Cerberus and Cerberus man, they get wrecked. They get wrecked so quick. Um it's just an insane amount of DPS. It really is. Uh, it, I mean, it's an insane amount of DPS. Uh, just because of the cloak, it just doubles the DPS on it, and it just it just mows shit down. All right. Now, before you ask, I will be coming out with more weapon videos. Uh, but just because this gun is good, it does not make the other collector guns good. I talked about. I will talk a little bit about the collector guns in my Turian Ghost video. And that's for the reason why, like I said, that I didn't want you guys to like just go crazy on me because of the fact that, you know, I said it sucked and then I'm going to come out with this video saying it's amazing. So I want to come out with this first. But, like I said, uh, in, in that video I did talk about the collector weapons and how I don't really like them. Now, the, the rifle though, I will say, is pretty decent but sucks against armor. The But the one that really is not good, honestly, is that SMG. That SMG is so shit. The reason why is because it's just like this where it has like the regenerating ammo, but the damage on it is really bad. Like at first you would think the damage would be good because it's blacklisted. It's N7 blacklisted. But the problem with that gun, they need to buff the crap out of it. They really do. And the main problem with that gun is that the damage on it, the DPS on it, is literally the lowest DPS of any SMG. Any SMG. That's including, like, the default ones, the Tempest, everything, all the really shitty ones in the game. Like, it has the lowest DPS. So, just because of that, and the combined nature of the fact that you have to, it has this regenerating, annoying ammo, because it is very annoying in general. But just because it, it has these things... It's like definitely a really really bad gun, and I don't think I want to use it honestly. I don't want to. I don't want to come out with a video talking about, you know, using the gun and how to use the gun because I wouldn't recommend to really use it. Like, that's the point of my videos, guys. Is that I like to come out with things to show you like the best, the best of the best, how to use the stuff the right way, and talk about it, and show you like, and it just you know, just show you good gameplay, all that kind of good stuff. I, I like to do that. So because of that, I don't want to like even show you a gun that I just personally think is really garbage um, and I mean it, and if you guys ever want to see it then that's something for fun with guns because I will be doing fun with guns again I talked about that in my I will talk about that in my new gameplay as well but I will be doing fun with guns again so watch out for that and in that if you want you can recommend the uh, SMG because I'm down to do it for fun with guns I am not down to do it for just a casual gameplay just because it's not good. Um, and I can tell you that right now. Uh, but anyway, yeah. As you can tell, though, we are playing Reapers and we are playing on Firebase Hydra. So this is kind of old news. I'm playing Solarian Infiltrator. That's kind of old news. The only new thing here is the Collector Sniper Rifle. Um, 
One thing I did want to bring up, though, which is really amazing, is just the fact that when incendiary ammo, oh man, you can get so many fire explosions now. It's right, like right there. That was a fire explosion. Uh, if you guys don't know, I haven't. I don't think I've talked about this in a video yet. If you guys don't know, fire and cryo explosions are so much better now. A billion times better now. Uh, and you can see it in this game. You can really see it in this gameplay. Just because I'm using, I'm actually using um, incendiary ammo. And every time I shoot my proxy mine, if I set them up first, I shoot them a little bit like like a ravenger or a brute. If I shoot them just a, a little bit and then I shoot them with the, uh, then I hit them with the proxy mine, they'll blow up and fire. They'll have a fire explosion, and it just does so much damage. It does an insane amount of damage, and it's so easy to do. You can do the same thing with cryo, but not the ammo. I personally, I don't think the ammo works well. Because I've tried cryo ammo and doing the same thing. It's just I can never get cryo explosions. Maybe it's just me. I would love to get cryo explosions because I have so much freaking cryo ammo. I have like 130 cryo ammo 3 and like 40 cryo ammo 4s. So I would love to use that ammo and make it good. I just don't think it's easy to use that ammo and get the cryo explosions. I don't even know if you can do it. Because if you could do it, I would think it'd be really simple to do it with something like this. Rieger Carbine, all that kind of good stuff. But from what I've seen, it just doesn't seem like it works like that. Fire ammo, like I said, it does work really well though. Because you will get fire explosions really easily with it. And all that kind of good stuff. Now if you want cryo explosions though, use the Paladin. The Paladin is so much better now. And I know I talked about this in another gameplay. I want to give you an update. The Paladin is better now, though. I mean, he's so much better just because of the fact... There's two reasons. The first reason is that his Snap Freeze now can just set up so many cryo explosions. If you play with anyone using something like Proxy Mine or Charge, whatever it is, any good power that does a decent amount of damage, because that's how those explosions work now, is that... If you can do a certain amount of damage, I don't know how much it is, but it might be like 500. If you can do like 500 damage in one attack from a power, you will detonate your fire or cryo explosion. So, Snap Freeze is so good now. So, I mean, the Paladin was always good, and now he's better because of those cryo explosions. I mean, you get so many kills in cryo explosions when you use Snap Freeze. It's unbelievable. When someone does, you'll see it in this gameplay, I think someone is a Paladin. He's, I don't think he's using Snap Freeze that much. But when he does, and I shoot proxy at it, it will get it will totally give him a uh, cryo explosion. Now, the other thing though about the paladin is that the reason why he's so good now is because his shield actually works. I know in one of my videos I said all oh, the shields doesn't still work, and you know it's well I, I said something stupid like that, but I forgot that yeah they actually did fix the shield. The way it works now is that if you actually attempt to block out damage like a good example one of my, my biggest complaint about blocking damage with the shield was always this if I throw up my shield and I get hit with like let's say an atlas, an atlas is shooting me or Geth Prime is shooting me it does damage to your shields I always hated that because it's damage to my freaking shields so when I come out of it guess what I'm like already half dead I've lost my shields uh, but now, when you have the shield out, you take no damage to your shields. None. So you get like the extra 3,000 shields, and that, when you put out your actual Paladin shield, your right shield, that has the 3,000 shields, and that takes the damage. And then, oh, let me say something real quick, because this is important about this gun. This gun, one of the really stupid things about it is that it does, it's a sniper rifle, but it has a set range it does not shoot that far if they are not highlighted in red or, or if, they, if you cannot target them like how i can target these guys now you will not hit them if it's if they are too far away you cannot hit them it's impossible so keep that in mind that is one of the dumbest things i've ever seen about a gun in a game a sniper rifle that cannot shoot far it's stupid. Like I don't understand that. I mean, it could shoot pretty. F it could shoot far, but it doesn't shoot. It, it doesn't shoot that far. Like because if they are out of your targeting screen, you cannot hit them. It's it's really crazy that they did that. All right, though. Um, 
But like I was saying, the Paladin now is really good because of the shield. Now you can sit there, you can eat the damage, you know, and then when you actually knock the shield, you know, you put the shield away, you will have all your regular shields. So that's really good. So now, if I play Paladin again, I'm going to really try to practice that blocking out certain damage. For example, like, I don't know, um, an Atlas. Like, I would love to be able, instead of, like, just, eat, you know, dodging it, I would love to block out some damage. So that is a couple new things about this game that is really awesome. The update was so good. It really was. They did a lot of great things. Um, now, the one thing I can hope for is that they will come out with, um, well, they will come out with another update. Not a patch, but an actual update update like they always do. And I really hope they actually buff the SMG, the collector SMG. This gun, I won't, guys, do not get me wrong. This gun does not need to be nerfed. This gun totally does not need to be nerfed. It's not broken. It's not. I won't say it's broken, because it's not. It's amazing, but it's not broken. The reason, why not, the reason why it's not broken is because of the ammo. The ammo is such a pain that it's not over... It, it, well, it is... Well, I don't know how to explain it. It's really not overpowered because of the ammo. That's the best way to put it. It's really not that overpowered. But the damage on it is really freaking good. It is super good. I mean, amazingly good. <laughs> so, that is the thing. Like, it... The damage is amazing, but the ammo really makes it a balance. The ammo is definitely a balance. So that's the best way to think of it. That's the best way to put it is that um, it's not really, it's not broken. It's just that simple. It's not broken, guys. Uh, and I don't want anyone to get an idea out there like I'm saying nerf it because I, I don't think so. Now, if anything, they, they might buff the ammo on this gun. They might. And that would be good, but then it will be kind of broken. Once they, if they do ever upgrade the ammo, because a lot of people, I'm sure, are, because like I said, I've talked to so many people about this gun, and so many people have told me that they hate this gun, they cannot stand it. So if enough people, like right there, is a range, I could not hit those guys, it's impossible. But, um, if so many people, if enough people complain about this gun, they will buff it. But they really don't need to because then they're going to debuff it. It's just because once it be, once the ammo is fixed, then it's really going to be just too powerful. Um, so that that's one thing I really want to make clear is that I hope they do not buff this gun. I like it the way it is. I, I mean, you will complain a lot about the ammo. You really kind of do. But it, it still is really, really good just because of the fact that, um, yeah, just because of the fact that the damage, the damage makes up for it. Now the collect, the collector SMG definitely needs a buff. It needs a damage buff, and it's, it definitely needs an ammo buff, like a big time ammo buff and a big time damage buff. Uh, just be, and by the way, the lowest DPS in the game that was off that was based off of uh, my friend told me that. Now I'm not 100 percent about that, but my friend told me that, and I think it's right because I think he got it from Bioware Social Network. But the damage, the DPS on it is the lowest DPS for any SMG, and that's at level 10. That's the collector's SMG at level 10 is lower than any other SMG at level 10. So that's the thing. Like, that's really freaking crazy and so freaking bad. Um, so they really need to buff that. But overall, though, I definitely like this gun. I do not really like the rifle too much, and I definitely do not like the SMG. But... This gun's not broken. Now, right here, I was not paying attention to the time. I'm so sorry for that. I wasn't trying to kill her. Well, I kind of was. I gotta be honest. But when I, that's the thing. I do not like I do not like sniper rifles that much because when I'm using a sniper, I don't pay attention to the extraction that as much because I'm always in scope. When I'm in scope, I just don't. I don't think about the time. And right there, just kind of like totally went over my head. But uh, yeah, it's whatever though. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Collector sniper rifle is amazing. It's really fucking stupid as well. But, it does not, it's not broken. Uh, <laughs> so I just want to make that clear. Alright guys, uh, please like this video and please subscribe for more DLC content and have a nice day.